Hey guys, what's up? It's Steve Max Brax here. I got another video. Um, you may notice throughout this one that uh, I may look a little funny or talk a little funny. Well, uh, the doctors looked at it and said there's nothing they can do. I was just born that way. Hello darkness, my old friend. I've come to talk with you again. Nah, I'm just messing with you. I just got back from the dentist not too long ago and my mouth is still numb on this side, so crazy things happen, you never know. But anyway, today, our project in the fading light, it's probably about 2.30, 3 o'clock, gets dark at 4.30. It's going to be dark before we finish this, but yeah, whatever. So today, we got the uh, front end we're tearing into. Um, we're actually replacing this ball joint right here. And uh, yeah, there's a lot to it. Um, already, I just got the, uh, the wheel and tire off. Uh, that's the only thing I've done plus I've taken the pressure off the torsion bar um, if you're doing this use jack stands set your parking brake chop the truck do not let this thing fall on you because it will kill you um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do uh, just start tearing it apart we got to tear the brakes off of it um, and we should be able to take the top uh, torsion bar uh, the excuse me the top uh, control arm off without having to take anything else off I think um, actually I don't even think we need to take the brakes off we just got to take that ABS line out of the way and uh, there's just two two uh, cam bolts that hold it on right here and right here. You just take those off, and then there's a nut on the back side of this. Uh, let's see if you can see. So there's this nut with a uh, uh, pin through it, so you got to get that off, and then it all should come apart. So uh, stay tuned, and this is how we're going to change a uh, ball joint, an upper ball joint, on a uh, 06 Duramax. So uh, enjoy. All right, guys, I haven't gotten very far into this. I just kind of wanted to share with you uh, a little bit here. This line uh, holds this front brake line on. Um, this is a uh, 10 millimeter. Just run it out, take that off. I put it back in there so I can find it. These are 21 millimeters on both sides. Um, I did not have an issue with that one trying to spin. I haven't gotten into what size this is yet. Uh, um, just wanted to give you all that little update. Take a little flathead screwdriver, just pop that open. That comes right out. Um, and yeah, so anyway, stay tuned. What's up guys, told you this wouldn't be too difficult, but I uh, got it out. Here it is. This is the upper control arm, and uh, I'll show you as best I can here. Uh, there's a, there was a lot of play in this, but you see that boot is just gone. And uh, so, now, uh, I would love to say that the hardest is over with, but uh, I think the hardest part is just getting to those bolts. Uh, obviously getting to that uh, ball joint bolt's a pain in the butt, but uh, so now comes the fun part of actually trying to get this thing out. Um, that's the worst part of this whole thing. Um, I've got the other one, the new one, actually in the freezer right now. That is one of the best ways to get them in. Uh, just shrinks them up. I'm going to throw this thing in the oven for a little bit after I get this out, probably. And then, uh, but for now, um, first step, I'm going to try to just beat it out of there. Um, I haven't had much luck with that in the past, but that's about the best way. If that doesn't work, I'm going to try an air hammer. So, yeah, there's going to be a show for you guys. So enjoy. I said this is the best way, but sometimes I don't know. Having a little bit of luck. There it is. Like I said, that's what I do. 
do it. Anyway, like I said, I'm gonna throw this thing in the oven for a little bit. Uh, I read about 150 degrees. Um, I'm gonna crank it up probably at 250 or so, let it sit in there for about 15 minutes. And I want it to be hot, but I want it to warm up a little bit. Of course, I'm gonna clean all that grease off of there first. And then uh, come back, try to press the new one in, um, and then uh, go from there. All right, guys, so I opened the new ball joint here, and these are the parts that we've got. We got a washer, we got a castle nut, we got a, uh, a cotter pen, a grease fitting, and a locking ring. Now, when I took the old one out, I didn't see a locking ring, so I'm not sure if that's going to be used or not. Um, I don't really, I guess it would need to be um, on the bottom side, but we'll see about that when we put it in. Uh, I got the uh, the control arm in the oven uh, at 150. It's been in there for about uh, about 12 minutes. I'm going to let it sit for about 15 minutes. Uh, take it out, try to squeeze it in there. Um, let me get the, uh, I've got the ball joint in the um, in the freezer here. Just put it in a little baggie. It is pre-greased, which is a good thing because I don't know that I have a, I don't have a grease gun. I don't know if I know anybody that does. So it's nice and cold. Okay, there's a little alignment notch right there that says put that towards wheel. So that's going to go on the outside of the uh, of the control arm. So yeah, either I forgot about the locking ring or I didn't have it, but there's a groove right there that it fits in. So um, whoops, I may have just thrown it out. So we'll see. All right. All right, I got this thing out of the oven. It's it's a little warm, but it's not supposed to be hot because you don't want to ruin these bushings right here. Um, what I'm going to try to do is try to just push this in here. Uh, like I said, this one's cold. You got to get that notch out. And this is warm. You want to get it straight, all that good stuff. And there's nothing. I was figuring it was going to take a little persuasion. I think it's going well enough. I better stop eating on the kitchen counter before I get in trouble. Uh, we'll try to beat the rest of it in outside. Okay, since I started talking before I was actually recording, um, now we're outside so we won't get in as much trouble. Um, I got this thing lined up pretty well, uh, but you know, it's got to go in straight, so here goes nothing. flying away. All right, and she's seated. If you can see that. Still wasn't without effort, but uh, that was certainly a lot easier than some of the ball joints I've done in the past. So, uh, could be worse. All right, so. Now I can maybe set you on the tailgate without uh, the camera flying away. Once you got that done, there's only a couple things left to do. This one's one of the harder ones because I don't have the right tool for this. Um, but I am putting it on, not taking it off. So we're gonna, we'll see how well this goes. So this lock ring, there's lock ring pliers, makes this a whole lot easier. My dad has them, I do not. I didn't even think about needing them for this. Um, so I'm just going to try to spread it. Ow, two pairs of needle nose. Not break my knuckle in the process. And yeah. Okay, I just realized the camera was on manual focus, so I hope you could actually see something. But, uh, had to get some help. Got the ring. In there, if you can see, it's in the groove. My battery's about to die, so we'll see how long this lasts. You gotta take and put that grease fitting in there. Um, pardon the dog barking because she wants to be on camera, apparently. And it ain't threading in. Why is it not threading in? Anywho, we'll thread that in. Get it on there. You wanna do that last because you don't wanna mess that up. Um, you should grease these after you put them on, but I don't have grease, so we're gonna get that done at a later date.
want to do, you want to seat that ball joint. You want to pull it about as tight as you can. Uh, but, you know, don't go overboard, but... Um, God, I need to turn just a little more. And then, uh, if you can't, if you get it that tight, and you can't uh, get to the hole, then you back it off one to uh, put the nut in it. Otherwise, you leave it at that hole. Well, mine, I can't show you because cameras can't see anything. Anyway, channel locks is not the uh, most recommended method, but it's what I got. So take it however you please. Got a little bit out of it. Let's try that. So you want to put this pin in in such a way that you can get it back out again. Um, I know that seems kind of kind of silly, but uh, trust me, if you have to take this ball joint back out, it's going to make your life a lot easier to have it in an in easy to reach position. Okay. So you want to go in from the back side because that's usually the easiest, most accessible one. Now once you get it in there, you just take a pair of needle nose and twist it around or behind or underneath, however you want to do it. I usually go around the sides, leave it to... Uh, Keep it poking a bit like that. And, uh, yeah, that's about it for uh, changing a, uh, a ball joint. Not a whole lot to it. All right. So that's that. We got everything put back together as far as the uh, suspension goes. Now we just got to put this brake line back on, uh, put the wheel back on, and tighten the torsion bar back up. We're done. Should have put that on before doing the torsion bar because I'm out. I don't think you have to do the torsion bar to do this. I uh, wasn't thinking about it and was thinking I had to get all the pressure off that upper. I think even with the torsion bar on there, it would have worked. So I should have tried that. But anyway, y'all know now. So. Yeah, just put the lug nuts back on. At least I found the 10 millimeter. All right, so that completes the ball joint change for the upper ball joint on this uh, 06 2500 Chevy. Uh, good use of rock lights, uh, just in case you're wondering. They do, this is actually white. Uh, that's the only, my only complaint with these RGB lights, the white sucks, but other than that, it looks purple, but anyway, so good use for them when you're working on stuff like this to get start. Anyway, after you get through with this, you wanna get your truck aligned because your camber caster is gonna be out big time, probably your toe, everything's gonna be out. That's all there is to it. So uh, until next time, y'all take it easy, have a good one, stay safe, do this the right way. Don't try to take shortcuts. I showed you the most shortcuts you can take. Please like this video and subscribe, and I'll get back with you with the next video on this truck. Ball joint bolts, a pain in the butt, but uh, I, I... Sorry guys, my mouth feels weird. I'm starting to get feeling back in, but at the same time I don't have any. So, there's one very busted up ball joint. So, uh, I've heard throwing this thing in the oven for about, uh, I don't know, i get you to look at me. It would make sense, right? I mean, it's a YouTube channel. You want to look at something. You don't want to just listen. It'd be a podcast. These things are really persnickety. Like I was saying, things are really persnickety. But soon. Are you serious? I can drop anything. Don't do that because you get a lot of dirt and crap in that grease. One thing you really don't want in there, I've got in there. God oh, dang it.
don't believe I just did that. Sorry, I know I'm singing and it's bad, but it's cold and I'm trying to keep my mind off of it. Don't sit on the jack. I'm sitting on the jack. And uh, you know, please like the please like this video and subscribe. You know, however I was gonna say it.